Hey Book Dragons, I'm back. I just want to start a new video and I'm going to do a five star read production. This five star read production is going to take me pretty much to the end of the year, but I know that we have a lot of readathons coming up and I know that a very, very popular prompt for these readathons is to read like a five star read production. So I have a lot of different options. I just got back from ALA and um, I have a lot of books from that. I have a lot of special editions that I haven't read. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys a breakdown of all the books I think I'm going to love and then if and when those prompts pop, which I I'm doing a lot of readathons in August, like a ridiculous amount. I have some options. So let's start with the ALA books that I think I'm gonna love. One is The Crescent Moon Tea Room by Stacey Savinsky. This comes out in October and it is a cozy fantasy, a cozy uplifting debut novel about three Clarenborn sisters who face an unexpected twist of fate at the bottom of their delicate porcelain cups. So yeah, this one looks really, really cute. It is a paperback. It looks almost like a finished edition. And I'm in my cozy era, so I'm really excited for this one. I oh, Another book I got from Harper, I think, was Voyage of the Dam by Frances White. And this is a murder mystery set on a, like, on, like, a ship. Yeah. 12 magical blessings, 12 days to see, one chance to stop a killer and save the world. I know that the special editions of this is so, so pretty, but I want to read it because I got an ARC. I've also been really, really a fan of all my... C books I've read, so this one might per be, be perfect, and yeah, I'm really hopeful that I enjoy it. And I think this came, this comes out in August. It says it comes out in August, but I feel like it's already out, so we will see. Um, another one that I got, this is from Amazon, is Nine Tailed by J.C. Lee. She has written a lot of um, contemporary, but this is about, I think, Fox Spirits, and her first romance of fantasy got to meet her. She gave me a lovely print. This cover is so pretty and I love anything about mythology like that. It brings me back to um, Teen Wolf when and the Kitsune arc. But yeah, I'm really excited for this one. This cover is also super pretty. And not very often do you get hardback, so that was nice. I also got another book, The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Pendragon. This is by this is comes out in October and it's Serpents and Night meets Shadow and Bone. It's a dark romantic fantasy loosely inspired by Greek myths with a darkly seductive star-crossed romance. And I have her other book. I have... Oh, I don't even know where it is. I have a An Air Comes to Rise, which I do want to read, so maybe I'll do, like, a reading vlog of these two. Um, but this is her first far away with Bramble, which is the new um, Macmillan or Tor romance imprint. And then I have three sequels I'm going to talk about. I only have a physical copy of one, but Firebirds by Kate J. Armstrong is definitely one that I want to read. Um, and then I also have Heart of the World by Amy Kaufman. And then I also have Mirror of the Beast by Alexandra Bracken. So those are my three sequels that I think will definitely be on this list for five-star reproductions. And I have a project in the works to read a lot of those in August because they're books I think that I'm going to love. And Battle of the... Um, Battlethon is all about reading five star reproduction. So, again, the, these books will be a lot of the ones that I'm pulling from, just depending on what prompts are for the various other readathons that I'm a part of. So, yeah, now let's get to the other stacks. The stack that has is definitely my more prettier editions. These are all my special editions that I really think I'm going to love. So, hopefully, they get read for Battlethon and also the various other readathons I'm doing. I haven't even taken some of these out of the pages, but Of Jade and Dragons by Ember Chen. Is stunning. It's my favorite color blue. I love the blue pages. Also, it's my birthday in August, so there's a possibility I may read special editions on my birthday. It just depends on what the other prompts are, especially for, pay, for, for, for ping pong a -thon, but this one looks really, really pretty. This one I'm actually going to start reading today because I'm doing a buddy read with someone, but it's The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. Again, really, really pretty purple pages. It's cozy fantasy, and I'm really excited for this one. This cover is so pretty as well. This is a, such a stunning book. It's called God, the God and the Guamo, and I don't know if this is a cozy fantasy, but I think it's again, oh, working at a cafe, try not to let certain customers irk her. And again, this is just a stunning, stunning, stunning book. Um, I also have The Crimson Morph by Crystal Cinderella. This is a witch and wind hunter romance. I actually just got approved for the sequel on Neck Alley, so 
I may actually do like a sequel vlog and just wait for it to come out. But I've heard really, really good things. Um, and then because Amy Kaufman was doing book recommendations, she recommended The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. And I've wanted to read this. And again, my pretty edges. And I love to read my special editions when I'm home. That way that they don't get ruined. So yeah, that is a special editions I hope that I love in the next couple of weeks, months, especially for Battlethon. But now let's get into the random books that I've just kept on my TBR that I really hope to read, but I have not read them yet. Let's get to those. These are obviously just like totally random books. Some of them I bought recently, some of them I've had for a while that I think I'm going to love. I just have not got around to reading. One is Otherworldly by F.T. Lukens, and I've really liked all of their other books that I've read. Um, and... It's a cozy fantasy about a skeptic and a supernatural being who would make a crossroads deal to achieve their own ends and more than they're bargained for. So I could potentially toss this in my cozy fantasy vlog, which I'm working on. Also, Compass and Blade by Rachel Greenlawn is another, like, sea-fearing book that I'm really loving when I read them. So this one might get read. It also did come out in March, so it's a relatively recent read. Another cozy fantasy, Can't Spell Treason Without Tea, and this is a beautiful special edition from Bramble, which I'm really liking their special editions. This is a cozy fantasy with a sapphic twist, I think, and I really hope that I like it. And also I have some romances that I just haven't read yet. Wild About You by Caitlin Hill from the Leopard Scratch author, which I really liked her other one. This one is going to deal with death of a grandparent, which has been a bit sensitive to me, but hopefully I do like it when I get around to it. And also Morgan Matson has released a new yeah, YA book called The Ballad of Darcy and Russell. I have liked all of her other books. I'm really excited for this one. And also another one that I heard Monica from She Might Be Monica talk about is Happy Medium by Sarah Adler. And I really am excited for all of these books. Let me know in the comments what is a book that you think you're going to love. I love to know what people think they're going to love and then I love watching the recap videos. I will probably do a recap video at the end of August just to see maybe at the end of like October just to see like how I'm doing. But yeah let me know in the comments what what books do you think you're going to love? Are you participating in any of these readathons? Really happy that Mel is hosting. I'm also doing Ping Pongathon and I'm also doing the Disney Challenge for Claire from Claire's Creative Corner. If I remember, I'll link them all below. But yeah, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. And let me know what is a book you think you're going to love in the next month.